Hi, and welcome to another episode of the show, Must Go On. Today's guest, we have actor, voice actor, and radio show host, Trey Olds. Let's get this show started. Okay, so first talk about um, your bio. It said you are an actor and a voice actor. How did you get started in that um, career? How did you start acting? Well, I started when I was 13, uh, I, when I lived in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I met a friend who was in the radio business, Scott Ennis. He was a radio host and a voice actor, and I just met him by chance, pure coincidence, chance or fate or whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, he said, Trey, you have a unique voice. Uh, you should get into this type of business. Uh, it's doesn't pay a lot of money i mean certain jobs does but if you have the craft for it if you love doing voices and being an actor or doing theater then this is the business for you and uh he says so reach out to some people and try it and so i did i went online and uh, found a few uh companies that were uh hiring or were seeking out voice actors for some projects uh, and i uh, did a demo tape of voices uh, and narrations and uh, I got a little gig and um, that's where it all started and then I transitioned to uh, radio my radio show which is what I still do now With that said how did you start how did you get into the radio show how did you start that and, and I believe you were how old were you when you started that show 13 how did that happen well, I was always interested in uh, radio and comedy and television and acting. And I was just started in the business with doing narrations and radio seemed like the next step. And uh, I went, uh, I figured out how do I do that? How do I start my own podcast? And I went with a company called Spreaker uh, Podcasting and uh, I record my show with them and it broadcasts with uh apple itunes spotify pandora uh, youtube and uh it started from there and for the first two years i did uh music i was a disc jockey so i played country music jazz music rock music any kind of music and then in 2015 i had the idea of interviewing actors because uh, I wanted to learn more experience uh, because I was a, a up and coming actor and wanted to find actors uh, who were in the business uh, a long time than me and uh, get their advice and they could share not just their advice to me but to the viewers on the show and it reached out to a lot of people. I was surprised with the first interview uh, it reached to a lot of people and it kept growing and growing and I'm still interviewing people and I enjoy it. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. So you interviewed actors Ed Asner, Peter Marshall, Marion Ross, as well as writers and beats and also mm -hmm. singers, Jimmy Chapel and George Galpo. How did you get them to come to your show? Well, uh, some of the big name actors, you have to go with their agents or talent agencies. So you have to track them down uh, to see well, who, who represents who and uh, sort of deal with the agent and talk about, well, could the actor do this date? And uh, what would he like to talk about? I'm going to ask a few questions, but if he would like to bring anything to the table, please let me know. And... Uh, so back and forth with the agent, or if it's uh, lesser known actors, not big names, you can reach out to them. I find social media is great, Facebook or uh, Twitter, you know, uh, you could find a lot of them, uh, lesser names, but the big names you would have to go with their talent agents or uh, managers. You have any tips or secrets on pitching? Did you write any... Um like specific letters or emails, or were you just informal with it? Yes, I wrote emails uh, explaining, you know, I'm 
20 years old with uh, high-functioning autism. Uh, I'm a radio show host, and I'm also an actor, and my show focuses on interviewing people in the entertainment industry on their advice, career, and experience. Uh, would you be interested in coming on the show and sharing your experience, telling your advice, and um, just going through your career? And 99.9% uh, .9 of the people I reach out to, they say yes. And uh, it's great. Uh, and when you have people that say no, they're probably busy or they don't want to do it at that time. So we just wait. I, I'm very persistent. So I just try to keep going at it. If I want to do an interview, I, <laughs> I just keep going at it. Don't be too persistent, but you have to be persistent in this business. What is your favorite thing about having your own radio show? Oh, wow. Uh, connecting with people is always fun for me. Uh, I meet and talk to different people all the time. Every time I interview someone, and it's different each time, different story, different experience. And you learn life lessons, of, or you try to learn life lessons from them and um, adapt it to your own life and your own career and uh, go from there. And uh, yeah, I've met a lot of good friends in this business with the radio show and uh, I'm praying I keep doing that. <laughs> you have any advice for anyone who would like to start their own radio show, how they can go about to do that? Yes, uh, if you want to do it, just do it. Go out and do it. Uh, I would say you have to have a thick skin. This business is not for everybody, I find. Uh, you have to be persistent. And uh, once you go into the acting part, or and when you do interviews too, trying to get interviews, be prepared, be prepared for rejection because uh, some people will say no. And you have to learn to take it. Uh, it's business, not personal. And um, just to strive e each time doing an interview, be better the next time you do an interview. Always strive to be better each time you do something. Okay, my last question for you is, is there anyone you have not interviewed yet that you're hoping you can um, get on the show? Yes, there's quite a few people, uh, bigger names I would love, and I've been trying for a long time. Uh, actress Betty White is a dream one I'm trying to get, but I never can get a hold of their, uh, her agent, but I keep trying. And like I said, I'm persistent, so I'll keep trying. Uh, and a few others, Dustin Hoffman, uh, uh, Sir Ian McKellen, Sir Patrick Stewart, a few of the great names of actors. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the show Must Go On. I want to thank our guest, Trey Olds, and of course, as always, my wonderful audience for taking the time to view this show. Don't forget to subscribe and to share. Have yourself a wonderful day.